Hi ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good evening to everyone. Today I am going to discuss IMS database history and its introduction. On May 25, 1961, United States President John F. Kennedy challenged American industry to send an American man to the moon and return him safely to the earth. This feat was to be accomplished before the end of the 10 year or one decade as part of the Apollo program. American Mark Rockwell won the bid to build the spacecraft for the Apollo program and in 1965 they established a partnership with the IBM team to fulfill, to fulfill the requirement for an automated system to manage large bill of material for construction of the spacecraft. In 1966, 12 members of the IBM team and 10 members from American Rockwell team and 3 members from Caterpillar Tractor began to design and develop the system that was called information control system and data language interface or we can say ICS DLI. During the design and development process, IBM team was moved to Los Angeles and increased to 21 members. The IBM team completed and shipped the first release of ICS in 1967. <coughs> In 1968, ICS was installed. The first ready message was, was displayed on an IBM 2740 terminal at the Rockwell Space Division at NASA in Downey, California. In 1969, ICS was renamed to IMS 360 and became available to the IT world. IMS full form is Information Management System. Is IMS still strategic for customers and IBM? IMS joined the mainframe platform officially in 1969. Like the mainframe, IMS has continued to thrive enjoying its most successful sales year ever in 2003. IMS has successfully reinvented itself many times over those years. Customer acceptance of new IMS version is the best measure of its strategic value. In 2003, IMS workload means, uh, means uh, speed of IMS to process the million of instruction per second increase to 67.9 percent on our latest version overall in 2003 speed of ims system grew 20 percent by mid-year ims version 7 surpass ims version 6 as the most popular version major by number of licenses <coughs> It is noteworthy that the customer showed continued confidence in future of IMS during the year 2001 and 2003. From 2001 to 2003, when much of the rest of the IT industry was showing a downturn and retrenchment. Who uses IBM, IMS? Over 90% of the top worldwide company in the following industry use IMS to run their daily operation <coughs> like manufacturing, finance, banking, retailing, aerospace, communication, government, insurance, high technology, healthcare. IMS is still a viable even unmatched platform to implement very large online transaction processing system and in combination with web application server technology it is the foundation for a new generation of web based high workload application 
IMS manage a large percentage of the world's corporate data and IMS process over 50 billion transaction per day. <coughs> IMS consists of three components. First is database manager IMDB, IMS DB and second is transaction manager IMS TM. IMS TM control input output processing provides formatting, logging and recovery of messages, maintain communication security and oversees the scheduling and execution of program. TM uses a messaging mechanism for queuing request and third is a set of system service that provide common service to IMS DB and IMS TM and it is collectively known collectively known as IMS DB or DC the three component create a complete online transaction processing environment that provide continuous availability and data integrity he it is a IMS is a hierarchical database and its full form is information management system in HDBMS entity is said to be a segment and collection of segments form a hierarchical database it is the oldest database among all of the DB type hierarchical structure like A B C D E F G it is an inverted tree structure okay means root will be at the top and then its branches will be at downward so we call it inverted tree structure in the above structure a b c d e f g and uh, are all segments my means a b c d e f g all are segment relationship is one to many means relationship is start from a to any of the child <clears throat> and uh, like we have one example we have patients which is available at level 1 and illness building household at level 2 and treatment payment is at level 3 and what is the rules means what is the constraint here maximum 255 segments are allowed per database and and maximum up to 15 levels means you can create only 15 level only and uh, database hierarchy chart first is root segment a very first segment or level one segment in an IMS database is said to be root segment only one root segment is allowed per hierarchical database in our example patient segment is the root segment means this is root segment and uh, dependent segment segment from level 2 to level 15 segment are said to be dependent segment in our case like from level 2 to level 3 all are dependent segment and segment type every segment name is said to be a segment type the segment type should be unique in any of the hierarchical database. In our example, we have six segment type like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6. So we have six segment type in our example. And segment occurrence, every record in segment type is said to be a segment occurrence. Means collection of, collection of segment occurrence form a segment type sibling segment more than one segment come under a <coughs> same parent in the same level is said to be a sibling segment in our example means uh, this is our uh, uh, parent and these are child like illness billing household at the same level too so these are so these are sibling segment twin segment all occurrence of a particular segment type under a single parent occurrence are called twin. Like at patients P1, there are illness, Ill, Ill1, Ill2, Ill3 means Ill3 means 
वन पेशेंस हैज मैनी नंबर ऑफ डिजीज सो दो आर ट्विंस एंड डेटा बेस रिकॉर्ड डेटा बेस रिकॉर्ड इज नथिंग बट कलेक्शन ऑफ इंटायर डिपेंडेंट डिटेल अबाउट द रूट की इन आवर एग्जाम्पल कलेक्शन ऑफ रिलेटेड इलनेस ट्रीटमेंट बिलिंग पेमेंट एंड हाउस होल्ड डिटेल ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर पेशेंस इज ए वन रिकॉर्ड मीन्स वन पर्टिकुलर पेशेंस मेक ए रिकॉर्ड एंड हिरेरिकल पाथ सेगमेंट आर ऑलवेज एक्सेस एंड रिट्रीव अलोंग दिरेरिकल पाथ ए पाथ इज ए रूट लाइन दैट बिगिन एट द रूट सेगमेंट ट्रेवल थ्रू द सेगमेंट एट द इंटरमीडिएट लेवल्स इन द हिरेरिकी एंड एंड एट द सेगमेंट इन द बॉटम ऑफ द हिरेरिकी मीन्स इन आवर एग्जाम्पल हिरेरिकी पाथ आर लाइक मीन्स वी हैव वन पाथ दिस पेशेंस to illness illness to treatment and second is patients to billing billing to payment and third is uh, patients to household okay these uh, we have written here an immediate and non immediate parent like patients has no parent okay mm, and illness illness says patients parent means if you see here illness as patient's parent and treatment treatment as illness and illness immediate parent means illness is a immediate parent and non immediate parent is patient's and like payment payment has immediate parent is billing and non immediate parent is patient's okay like for household immediate parent is patients but non immediate parent is nil means nothing so uh, we have like uh, uh, ims db architecture here we have like application and we have interface data language interface through which we access the database ims database and uh, like we have access method hdm we have number of method through which we access the data from the database and we have ims transaction manager so through this we control the uh, services of the ims database okay thank you guys that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe the channel and hit the like button thank you very much once again